Oh my god. What? How long have I been out? Oh. What? Holy shit, I haven't made a video in so long. Oh, fuck. Oh, god. Uh. uh this'll do. Okay, fly fishing with Cortland Confidence. See how this goes. Steelhead salmon, then he will sell you a, a proportionately heavier outfit and a stiffer rod in order to overcome the wind resistance and to lay that back up. Probably the most recognizable part of a fly fisherman entourage is the rod. Now this is not a pole. A pole is what you use to hunt the worm. This is a fine fishing tip. Now I, I know that I haven't made a video in a long time, but I promise you I'm gonna make it all up to you today because over the last few months, I've been on this journey to find the coveted pre-release copy of Josh, Josh Kirby, Kirby Time, Time Warrior. Warrior. So what's so special about the pre-release copy of Josh Kirby Time Warrior? You're asking yourself, because you're not asking me, I'm, I'm here, and you're over there. Well, mainly, it's uh, illegal, I think, for me to show this to you. I really, I really don't know how this works. Most of the audio and visual aspects of this and all the CGI that's going on in this old ass VHS tape is unfinished, which is very exciting and very hard to come by. Uh, probably. I'm making that up. I have no idea. There's probably a million of these. Anyway, let's just d dive right into it. We've wasted as many months as we could. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go watch this now. I never thought time would catch up with me. I couldn't have imagined. But hundreds of okay, this movie has a time train. Need I say more? Amazon reviews, five stars. This movie has a time train. A scientist named Irwin 1138 tried to disassemble and hide the nullifier. But even he couldn't stop. Dr. Sutro! Together, we're on a quest through time, visiting different worlds to fight for the nullifier's pieces. Okay, at this point, I'm honestly not sure if this moment is just a pitch for the movies, or if this actually is the movie. So just to give you some background, Josh Kirby Time Warrior is a series of six feature films that were all kind of designed to give you that feel of those old child childhood adventure books. You know, like uh, Nancy Drew, or the, the Magic Treehouse, or even Harry Potter. Those are all pretty solid examples of what Josh Kirby wants to be. Jesus, you think they can make that watermark any bigger? We need another 93 seconds. Seal the door. Wait, are you are you implying that we're in a hurry here? I mean, nothing about this situation seems to scream urgency, you know. The, the door it looks pretty sealed to me. And knockoff Darth Vader's tone of voice definitely does not indicate that there is any sense of urgency. Damn it, Franklin. I said seal the door, not set the door on fire. You had one job, Franklin. One job! Don't just take it, Josh. I know, I know. Don't just take it. Ace it. Your mother would have been proud of you. Well, she would be proud. Two of you would have gotten but she time. can't because she's she dead. This is a G-rated history class. We will not be studying anything that is not rated G. But Mrs. Mandelbaum, isn't history kind of made up of all ratings, from G to PG, to PG-13 to even R? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because, because we're too young to watch those. Yo, Josh man, Kirby man. All right, kid, let's try a new nickname. That one's not gonna work for me. Josh man, Kirby man. Oh, oh, oh you think you're sly or something, huh? That nickname is not gonna fly past me. Holy moly. 
I'm a little worried about contamination. For me? No. This. Cool. Okay, I gotta admit, I kind of love this entire scene. I mean, Dr. Zoigberg ringing the bell. And then the way Josh Man, Kirby Man's dad drops dead. It's just perfect. Oh God, the fight choreography in this movie is terrible. I mean, it feels like I'm watching a John Wick movie or something. Am I, am I right, folks? Is, is this microphone on or something? <laughs> So discount Doc Brown over here is about to drop some serious techno babble on us, so why not just do us all a favor and translate? So Josh Man Kirby Man is in a time machine. Dr. Zoidberg wants to collect all five pieces of Exodia to cast Obliterate and destroy the universe. Josh Man Kirby Man doesn't want that to happen because he wants to bang that weird boring girl. Let's take this moment to remind you that today's episode of Slacking Off is brought to you by A Gallon of Whale Piss. If you go to agallonofwhalepiss.com and enter the code SLACK, spelled S-L-A-C-K, you'll receive 3% off your 10th gallon. A Gallon of Whale Piss. We don't need to tell you what to do with it. But won't that destroy him too? I told you, he's mad. But if the nullifier has to be reassembled for it to work, why do you need all six parts? Why don't you just grab one? And that would keep it from being put back together, wouldn't it? Shut the fuck up, kid. I'm afraid I have to admit that young Zoetrope 366's brain power exceeds my own by 8.6 cerebral grams. Oh my god, just shut up already. When are we getting to the sweet stop motion dinosaur action? So at this point, Josh Kirby and Doc Brown end up in medieval England, where they've been offered up as sacrifices to the sweet ass battle T Rex. When out of nowhere, the leader of the people that decided to sacrifice him in the first place shows up and just fucking rescues him. Also, they meet Xena Warrior Princess and vaguely allude that she might also be a time traveler. Rescue? Out of the question. But why? <laughs> Wait, why? You just rescued Josh Kirby, Time Warrior. Because he was a stranger. But the blacksmith has been spared. Captured strangers are said to be at this very moment being sacrificed in his stead. Strangers? We must rescue them. This smells like a good old case of old-fashioned misogyny, if you ask me. Greetings, royal alchemist. It's Kuga! My eyes deceive me. Or is Dr. Zoidberg wearing two popped collars right now? This time wizard is just a pair of Oakleys and one fake tan away from being my stepdad. Wherever he is. Damn it, stepdad. Why'd you have to you leave mama and your baby? We miss you. Where'd you go, stepdad? She's been the one to fill your dark soul with light. Devil. Stop that! All right, I've avoided talking about this ugly creature as long as I can. He basically doubles as a Dragon Ball finder, and also, you know, like the Ewoks, you know, just the obligatory cute creature in all sci-fi movies. He sucks. Anyway, the reason I'm bringing him up in the first place is because the last time we saw him, he was just chilling with Josh Kirby Time Warrior. And then out of nowhere, the movie just tells us Dr. Zoigberg's captured him all of a sudden. Every time this movie introduces a new idea, it has zero interest in explaining itself. Really, it's just lazy filmmaking. We've seen one Dino Knight. Look at how big the box art says Dino Knight compared to how small Josh Kirby's name is on the fucking box, and we've been staring at him for over an hour. It was putting the mind plug in that took away your main mini colors. Perhaps. If I take the mind plug out, it will bring it back. 
Again. First, Dr. Zoidberg says the critter needs to be under mind control, but now he doesn't? Also, this little guy can teleport, but I guess this cage made out of fucking bamboo is too strong for him to pass through? And I don't even want to know where Dr. Zoidberg found bamboo in the middle of medieval goddamn England. You know, I think the blacksmith's starting to wonder about us. Really? A blacksmith from 1200 AD is skeptical of a little boy in acid-washed jeans and an old man whose last name is literally Numbers. I mean, at the very least, he thinks you two are fucking. Now, off with your knickers. My what? Your knickers, your tops and bottoms, love. Time to show the world that pearly white cooter of yours. What's wrong, Josh? Our friend Asbeth was captured by your dragon lord Henry. For some reason, Josh Kirby keeps referring to this woman as his friend. So what I'm about to show you is an unedited version of the entirety of their relationship so far. You're scaring our lives, boy. Send me back to my comment at the front immediately. Look, I, what if I could, but I can't. Don't you realize I could sever your puny head from your narrow shoulders in a million seconds? Now that wouldn't do either of us any good. Because I'd be dead and you'd be stuck here in 120580. What did you say it was? That's it. That's the whole relationship so far. I mean, she tried to kill him, and then they both got captured. Josh, listen, let's just talk for a second here. Just because you sat on her and got a weird boner does not make you guys friends. Nullifier component. Wrong, Josh Kirby. That is a footprint. This is what I think of your flowers, Lord Henry! The wench has fired. I like it! Oh, see, it's funny because now the bad man is gonna rape the nice lady in this children's movie. I say we fight! Let's show William of Dearborn how we feel, men! Who will fight tomorrow? Oh, thank God, Fieri! We're finally gonna see some dinosaurs fight in this movie! My name is Elizabeth Siege, and garments such as this are only meant for the pleasure of the male. It is yet another form of his sexual oppression against the female gender. I'm just so conflicted with this movie. You see, on the one hand, you have plot holes so big you could stuff Shrek inside them, but then, on the other hand, you've got this strong, albeit shallow, female character who is smashing the ever-loving fuck out of the literal patriarchy. I already thanked you for the meal. What more could you possibly want? Don't toy with me, wench. You know what I want. Why, Baron, whatever could you mean? Is that gratitude enough for you? Fuck yes! All right. Sure, her storyline is half-baked at best, but really she steals the show in every scene she's in. That's it. it I mean, that... That's not how you end a fucking movie, guys. It, if you took Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope and just sent it to credits minutes before Luke blew up the Death Star, people would be fucking furious. I mean, I just sat through 90 minutes of gobbledygook. The least thing you owe me is a cliffhanger or just an attempt at one. I mean, holy shit, guys. Just look at this. Josh Kirby even shrugs at the end as if to say, whoopsies, we forgot to add an end to this trash heap. I mean, this movie is called Josh Kirby and the Planet of the Dino Knights, but the closest thing we get to Dino Knights in this entire 90 minutes is some old man waving a stick at a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It, it really doesn't do anything. It, what was the point of this movie? But wait, there's more. So after making this episode, I actually found out that all six parts of Josh Kirby Time Warrior are available on Amazon Video right now for free. So I decided to go back and skim through the first episode on Amazon just to see what the actual differences are between my unreleased copy and the official copy that was, you know, released. And much to my surprise, the audio and visuals are exactly the same. 
and I really can't find any differences between the two copies, which is shocking because this movie is so ugly, it's unacceptable. So anyway, I just thought you guys would think that's kind of interesting. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm sorry it took so long to come out. Um, I would like to promise that the next one will come out sooner, but no guarantees, of course. Uh, so, you know, do all those things that people tell you to do at the end of their videos. Bye!